There's a renewed push to decentralise the Rural Fire Service headquarters, bringing it out from the Sydney suburbs into the central west. It's one of the talking points in an Upper House parliamentary inquiry into emergency services agencies. Samara Gardner has more. The state government has already signed a long-term lease for the new Rural Fire Service headquarters in Homebush, but a parliamentary inquiry into emergency services agencies will investigate the possibility of relocating the hub to Orange, Dubbo or Parks. The committee is to be chaired by Shooters, Fishers and Farmers MP Robert Borzak, supported in the lower house by the member for Orange. The Rural Fire Service, there's no reason why it shouldn't be in rural New South Wales. Um, the government's talking about the federal government at least, decentralisation. I noticed federal nationals talking recent, recently about decentralising government agencies. Decentralisation was supported by the Minister for Emergency Services in a statement. He said he believed there are further functions within emergency service agencies that could be relocated and that he will continue to explore and develop these options. Stopping short of commenting on the relocation of the RFS. But the Deputy Chair of Regional Development Australia believes there's no reason why the headquarters can't be developed in Orange, Dubbo or Parks. With today's communication and uh, infrastructure for transport and everything that we've got out here to offer, it has to be cheaper than running it in Sydney and it would perhaps take a lot of this angst that happens every time we have a fire. The inquiry is expected to take 18 months to two years to complete. Meanwhile, the construction of the Sydney-based headquarters is already underway.